It was a bizarre disappearance that happened years ago. A woman and her teenage son in Wetumpka vanished. Friends and family members still have not gotten answers, so they reached out to the 12 News Defenders. Here's WSFA 12 News anchor Jasmine Williams with this month's case file. The words still missing have been posted all around Elmore County. Susan Osborne and her teenage son Evan disappeared in 2017. Family convinced they are no longer alive. I'd like to find their bodies. This is the 12 News Defenders case file, Susan and Evan. For many people, Memorial Day weekend marks the unofficial start of summer. And for Susan and Evan, it was no different. The mother and son duo reportedly had plans and it's believed that weekend was when something happened. So they moved down there for his job and then they divorced shortly after. Originally from Michigan, Susan Osborne moved to Alabama with her first husband and together they had a son, Evan. When they divorced, Susan stayed in the state sharing custody with her first husband. And it was also in Alabama where she would find love again. She married her second husband and moved into this home in Wetumpka, a home that would serve as the backdrop for this missing persons case for the 42-year-old Susan and her 14-year-old son. We spoke to them about two weeks before this all happened. Still in Michigan, Melissa Canfield is the sister-in-law and aunt, and she used FaceTime to stay in touch with them. She said she never noticed anything out of the ordinary with Susan, and it came as a total shock when all communication stopped. I remember telling my husband, this is this bad. He goes, I know, I don't feel like this is good at all. And it wasn't good. There was no sign of the mother or her son, and it's believed they went missing in May, but a police report wasn't filed until July. And when authorities went to the home, they noticed something else. Something was off. There was certainly remodeling that had been done, and I do believe there was some evidence of uh, burn piles and things like that around on the, on the property. Disturbing evidence in this disappearance, but six years later, no one really knows what happened. No one's been arrested, and no persons of interest have been named. But there is renewed hope for the family by way of a new DA in Elmore County, C.J. Robinson, and he seems optimistic too. But now there is hope that, that with, with the technology, with DNA, that, that we might actually catch who did it. We need closure, we need answers, we need to find them. We need to lay them to rest in peace. Closure desperately needed in an unsolved case involving a mother and her son. With this 12 News Defenders case file in Wetumpka, I'm Jasmine Williams. If you know anything about this case, you are encouraged to contact the Elmore County Sheriff's Office. For more information about this case and the others we've profiled, you can visit our website, WSFA.com.